Have you ever attempted to lose weight and maybe even had some success losing weight only to find it all creeping back on once your diet plan is complete? If so, this video is for you. I'm gonna talk about exactly how and why this happens by describing something that I call the weight loss roller coaster, and I'm gonna help you get off that roller coaster once and for all. If you don't know me, my name is Justin Nault. I'm a certified nutritional therapist and founder of Clovis, and I specialize in healing slow metabolisms. I've done this with thousands of clients over the last decade, and I'm here to help you get the very same jaw dropping results. Now, first things first, First, why do most dieting attempts fail? We now have clinical studies that are showing that anywhere from 85 to 95% of people who lose weight using low calorie diets gain all the weight back and sometimes even more weight within five years of finishing their diet plan. What does this tell us? This tells us that the mainstream conventional approach to nutrition, health, and wellness is fatally flawed. And we already know this to be true just by looking at statistics. Depending on which study you read, we know that anywhere from 88% to 90% of adults living in America today are suffering from at least one marker of clinical metabolic dysfunction. And over 75% of adults are either overweight or obese. And the mainstream just has no answer to this. They wanna blame you. They wanna say that you're lazy, it's your own fault, that you lack discipline, that you lack willpower, that you don't know how to track the food you're eating, that you're lying, that you're not working out enough. No matter what answer they come up with, they always point directly at you. The blame is always pointed at you. And this is why I create the content I do, to rally against that gaslighting, to stop blaming people for their own metabolic dysfunction, give them better information, and help them escape this weight loss roller coaster. So in order to escape the weight loss roller coaster, you need to understand what it is, how it happens, and how you can prevent it going forward. So I've created a helpful graph and I'm gonna walk you through this weight loss roller coaster and how you can finally get off it once and for all. Okay, so here we are looking at the weight loss roller coaster, how this starts and how it usually ends. And we're gonna see what this does to people over time, why crash dieting, low calorie diets, over exercising, constantly stressing your metabolism is not the answer. We're gonna look at how this goes for most people. Most people come to me, usually middle-aged, um, anywhere from 35 years old to 65 years old, but most of the people coming to me are over the age of 40, and they think that being obese and suffering from clinical metabolic dysfunction is somehow a normal part of aging. It is not, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm gonna show you how they got there and how you can avoid it. So if we take a look at where the weight loss roller coaster begins, this is whatever your ideal body fat percentage is. For some people, maybe they were 18 when they experienced this. For some people, they've been overweight since they were 12 years old. For some people, they were lean and fit. Maybe they were an athlete in high school and college. And then in their mid to late 20s, things started to go wrong and they started to gain a lot of weight. But no matter how you look at this, we're going to choose one ideal body fat percentage. And again, through all my programs, I don't really talk about weight. You can lose weight, and losing weight is a great thing to do if you have a significant amount of weight to lose. But generally speaking, people want to lose specifically body fat. So we're going to talk about body fat. We want to lose body fat and either maintain or build more lean muscle tissue for optimal metabolic health. So here we're looking at the beginning of the weight loss roller coaster, and that is whatever your ideal body fat percentage is. That's your starting point, okay? Now, from there, at some point, what happens for most people is they have their initial weight gain, right? And that initial weight gain, uh, it could be 10 pounds, it could be 20 pounds, it could be 30 pounds, or whatever. But the first time they really start to gain weight, and they're looking at this going, what is happening? My body feels different. I don't like this. They get uncomfortable. And then at some point, there's a, there's a tipping point where they say, I need to do something about this. I need to get back here. We're looking at the ideal body fat where they want to be, right? I want to get back to that starting point. So they do what most people do. They take conventional mainstream advice, which tells us that it's all about calories, calories in, calories out. You just need to eat fewer calories and you will lose weight. And sometimes that works for a brief period of time. So let's say it's a, a woman and she decides I'm going to eat 1200 calories a day. I'm going to go to the gym five days a week and I'm just going to punish myself skinny, right? So they do this extreme crash diet, and they may even get some results in the beginning. They lose the initial weight, and it looks a little something like this, right? Okay? So they're suffering, they're sacrificing, they're restricting the food that they're eating. Maybe they're doing keto or paleo, or they're restricting full food groups. They're just killing themselves in the gym. They're feeling hungry all the time, not feeling great. But look at this. They lost a little weight. This is success, right? In their mind, this is success. Excellent. Now, they were trying to get down here to the ideal body fat. They didn't quite make it. They need to go a little bit further. Now, what ends up happening around this time is they realize that the diet they've chosen for themselves is unsustainable, right? They're hungry all the time. They're tired. They're cold all the time. They're, they're not getting good quality sleep. They just feel generally pretty bad. Their libido is in the toilet, right? They just don't feel good. And they want to eat a normal amount of food. They want to be a normal human being. 
So what ends up happening is they start spending less time in the gym. They were doing five days a week. Now they're only doing three days a week or two days a week or one day a week, or they're so tired and sore, they give up the gym altogether. They go back to eating a normal amount of calories that a normal human being would. And what ends up happening is they suffer from weight regain. And many times, oftentimes, they gain back all of the weight and then some. Look at this. They're even higher than when they started their crash diet. Their body fat is higher than it was when they first started. The reason for this is they're down-regulating their metabolism. If you cut calories and you stay in a calorie deficit for an extended period of time, your metabolism is going to slow down. Your metabolic rate will lower, which means that what used to be a calorie deficit for you is now just maintenance calories. And if you want to continue losing weight, you'll have to drop calories even lower. The problem is if you're already on a low calorie diet, you're going to suffer tremendously trying to do that and nobody can do it. And their lizard brain kicks in and tries to keep them alive. They go into survival mode and they end up binging on food that they probably shouldn't, right? Because they chose an unsustainable protocol to help them lose the weight. So they gain back all the weight and then some. Now, what happens over time is again, they have a tipping point where they go, I can't stand this anymore. I can't stand the way I look in the mirror. I'm hating my body. I'm lacking confidence. I don't feel good about myself. I need to go on another diet and get this weight off. But they know, look at this, their ideal body fat percentage, that starting point is way down here. That's super far away. So they give up even thinking about that. All they want to do now is get to where they got to at the end of their last crash diet, right? So now that's their new goal for body fat. Forget about this. We're going to put a big red X through their starting point because they think it's impossible. Well, it's just normal. I'm getting older. My hormones are imbalanced. Whatever it may be, they tell themselves all these stories and reasons why they can never get back down to that initial body weight. Now they just want to get to where their body fat was at the lowest point of their crash dieting. So they try the very same thing. They crash diet again, maybe 1,200 calories, maybe less, going to the gym five days a week. They somehow muster up the courage and willpower to go do this thing all over again. And they crash diet. And look at this. They're getting a little bit of success. They've lost some body fat again. They've lost some weight. Now, keep in mind, with crash dieting, you're not just losing body fat. You're also losing lean muscle tissue. It's very bad for you. I don't like the term calorie deficit. When people use the term calorie deficit, I correct them and say self cannibalizing. It is your body cannibalizing its own tissue to stay alive. So they do crash dieting yet again. They have a little success. But again, as you all know, if you've tried these low calorie crash diets, they are unsustainable. So what ends up happening? More weight regain. And again, they gain back all the weight and then some. They now have more body fat, more body weight than they did when they started this second round of crash dieting. Now, you can see where I'm going with this and the direction that the roller coaster goes, where people do this over and over and over again, always setting a new goal for their body fat because they can't get back down to their initial weight and they can't get to where they got to on their first crash diet. Now they just want to get back to where they were on their second crash diet. So they crash diet again. They do the same thing over and over and over, and then they experience weight gain. And this is what it looks like over time. This is the general weight loss roller coaster for 99.999% of the clients that come to me. Most of the people who come for me looking for health are significantly overweight or obese, and they're just desperately trying to lose a little bit of body weight, a little bit of body fat, but they already have it in their mind that it's impossible to do, that this requires tremendous suffering and sacrifice, low-calorie diets, starvation, living in the gym. They really have this horrible idea of what it's going to be like to get healthy that's just not true. So what if I offered you a better way? Now I'm going to show you how to get off of the weight loss roller coaster. Okay, so if we rewrite this, and we set a new goal, right? So we've done the crash diet, and now we're here. And we just want to get to here, over here on the right, right? So I, I don't want you to think about where you were on your last crash diet or your ideal body fat or body weight, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to create a healthy metabolism within you, which is the only way to sustainable long-term body fat and weight loss, weight loss that you can sustain and keep off forever, right? So the new goal is just over time, we actually kind of want to stay where we're at while eating more food. The core of everything I do is called how to lose weight by eating more and exercising less. Instead of down-regulating your metabolism, we're going to be ramping up your metabolism. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, but with intelligent reverse dieting, feeding you nutrient-dense whole foods that ramp up your metabolism, watch what happens. Okay, so we want to go from here to here with no weight gain. But remember, while we're doing this, we're increasing your food intake, we're increasing the number of calories you're eating, increasing the amount of protein you're eating, increasing the amount of fat, and increasing the amount of carbs, but we're feeding you nutrient-dense whole foods, foods that actually exist in nature. 
And the reason why we do this intelligently with reverse dieting is because if you try to do this with just any old food, if you have ultra processed foods in your in your environment, like wheat and crackers and whole grains and all this junk food that people tell you to eat just because it's low calorie, if you keep those in the diet and you try to eat more, you're going to see this, right? You're actually going to start to gain weight. Now, it is possible to experience a little bit of weight gain and then come back down to the place we're trying to get to. But I put this X here because when someone tries a new nutrition protocol, if all of a sudden they just start gaining weight, they're going to quit. That red X means they're going to quit and they're going to try to go back here and get back on some kind of crash diet and the insanity continues. What is the definition of insanity? Trying the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. So psychologically, emotionally, we need to feed you more and make sure that the scale doesn't move in the opposite direction so that you don't quit. But if we do this right, and that's what all of my Clovis protocols do, we do intelligent reverse dieting, getting the junk out of your diet, replacing all that junk with nutrient-dense whole foods as they exist in nature, this is what happens over time. We feed you more food, and then eventually, bam, you start to lose weight effortlessly. How does this happen? How are we feeding you more food and somehow the body fat is just dropping off? And as the body fat is dropping off, we're watching the scale number go down as well. You are achieving all of your goals, all the things you wanted to do, all the things you were trying to do with this horrible, harmful crash dieting. You're now doing through abundance, through eating plenty of food, not restricting calories, eating more of these nutrient-dense whole foods that actually exist in nature. And over time, the body fat loss... The, the, the excess fat comes off and it's sustainable. It lasts long term and it's almost effortless when you do it this way. This is an intelligent approach to long term sustainable body fat and body weight loss. In fact, this is the only way to do this that's going to be sustainable and work for you long term. Term. You have to get out of the mindset of crash dieting, get out of the mindset of punishing your way to a thin, healthy body. It's not going to work. You're damaging your metabolism the whole way, and you can actually do irreversible damage if you do this for too long. Many people come to me in their 50s and 60s. They're more than 100 pounds overweight. Maybe they're full-blown type 2 diabetic at this point, dealing with autoimmune conditions and other chronic health conditions. You don't want to end up there, so please, please. Allow me to help you get off this weight loss roller coaster once and for all so you can finally achieve optimal health and wellness. And that is what all my programs here at Clovis do.